Hey guys, guess what day it is? Today is soil test kit review day. I've been promising this for a while, so hold on. I've been promising this stupid video for weeks now, but I've had so much work to do out here in the yard and so many things to do in so many other videos that I've had to keep putting this off. So I'm gonna do this differently than most soil kit test reviews that I've seen. A lot of times you'll see reviews done, people go out and play with these products and then they'll give you a review and then half an hour later you still don't know what's a good one to buy. But let me go over a couple things first. Number one, I've been testing all my life. I've been developing products, I've been doing testing, doing a lot of research. And one of the things I've learned is you gotta have data sets if you're gonna have good test results. So in other words, I gotta have a laboratory somewhere that gives me firm data set results so I can compare this, these tests against that. I can't just go out and say, oh, this is kind of like, this one kind of seems good. And this, It doesn't work that way. So that's number one. Number two, I never, ever, not once, and will never do it, accept free products from a company and then do reviews. I see a lot of people on YouTube get free products. They're a sponsor or whatever. And, and honestly, I just don't think that you can give an honest review. Well, the way I get these products is the same way that you get them. I go on Amazon, I click, 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 click. That's what I want. Boom, it's here in two days and that's how I buy it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save you a bunch of time and tell you the past several weeks, I've done a whole bunch of research on these home soil test kits. And I'm gonna give you the, the the one product that I believe you should buy. If you go online, if you really start to do some research and you spend a lot of time actually studying, there's actually um, a great paper online um, about soil test kit, soil home kit, home soil test kit testing data analysis. And a group of scientists actually took those soil test kits and actually did some research comparisons and compared the accuracy. And the one that I'm gonna show you, which is the winner, was about 94% accurate almost all through almost all the tests. And that's critically important. I think that's real important. You can also go, there's a funny website I found, and it's an old website. You can tell the way that it's built. But this uh, real intelligent guy bought all these little soil testing kits, did all his testing on it, testing on it. And the very last thing he said, in the end, what I found is that none of them were accurate and I threw them all away in the trash. And guess what? I had sort of the same results with them, except for one product, which I'm gonna tell you about. First of all, let me show you some of the some of the, the test kits that I ordered and tested. All right, so you can tell, I'm not a real big fan of them because they're all just sort of strewn around, but uh, you got like this rapid test. Basically, it just reads the colors for you. you Got these little capsules that you break up and mix up with water and put it in. Not a fan. You got these meters. Not very reliable at all, I'll tell you right now. You got these little uh, you got these little things here that you mix up with water and break the capsules and shake it and get not very reliable on the testing. Um, you got the the big soil test package here. Um, it's got all kinds of chemicals and regents I really didn't care for that one either um, some of it was hard to use some of it just didn't make sense some of it wasn't reliable all around basically I'm telling you right now everything you just saw I'm throwing in the trash I'm done with it I'm getting it out of my office it's been sitting in my office for weeks and I have more than that I play with a whole bunch of them they're all going into the trash <laughs> I'm not even gonna give them to anyone I'm just gonna toss them in the trash now, let me explain the winner. The winner is a research and testing company that actually develops products for a lot of different industries. I actually did a lot of research on pool chemical testing and they were my winner for pool testing chemicals too. Let me show you. And the winner is Lamont. This is a Lamont and it actually isn't called, I don't think a soil testing kit. I'm gonna put a link down below to Amazon to make sure you get the right one. Cause I think they actually call it um, a garden soil testing kit. But man, it is by far um, probably the truest form of soil testing that I have found. You get all the regents, and regents are chemicals or fluids that are used. You get the uh, test tubes, you get the cleaners, you get the caps. 
and you get instructions and you also get color cards. Let me pull one of them out. Let me just grab one of the vials. But you also get color comparison cards so that once you do your testing, you can actually take your vial and you can put it up here and you can sort of determine, well, what is my pH level? So, and that's a pretty clear indicator on this. Um, I was really happy with the results on this. I actually did some additional testing to verify a little bit. And honestly, like, it, like, the, like the study showed, this stuff was, probably, was pretty much dead on accurate. So let's talk about the difference between real quick. Um, oh, one note on this, I, I do want to, I, I did have communications. I did send, uh, I had several emails back and forth with one of the chemists at Lamont about this, concerning this. And I was talking about heavy clay soils. And I was having a real problem with getting my clays, let me show you here, with getting my clays to settle. When I would do this test, this would just stay orange. Again, the fact that clay is silts and silicates. We talked about that in one of my earlier videos. I had to let this sit for three days to get this actual result, to get it that clear. See how clear it is? It had to sit for three days to get that clear because I'm solid clay. So I'm just letting you know, if you're doing your test results with this kit and you're still cloudy and it looks like there's a bunch of clay still in there, just let it sit. Um, but it, they did answer my emails. It was an actual chemist from Lamont and she was very nice and uh, it, was, it was a great experience as far as customer service. So I did want to throw that in there. But overall, this testing kit, I got to tell you, I'm, I'm really, really happy with it. Now, let me give you one other thing. Let me give you one other tip. A lot of people say, well, get a soil test done and you go to your local ag office and that's fine. But here's the thing. I want to make sure that I'm taking area samples. So I want to go over to this area and take my samples. I'm going to go to this area over here and take my samples. I'm going to go over this area and I'm going to go to the front and I'm going to go, oh, I've got a whole bunch of trees over here. So I want to test that and see what the different levels are, especially on my pH. Um, I, if I want to do a soil test kit, I really have to buy several soil test kits. And I've got three of them sitting on my desk for weeks and I haven't taken the time to do it and it gets expensive. You're usually gonna do online 20 to $30 for one soil test kit. This, this kit, this kit, this kit from Lamont, and let me tell you what it tests for. I believe the total price for this kit, and there's probably enough in here for a good 20, 30, 40 tests on here, is about 59 bucks. And that's very reasonable for a soil test kit like this. And so here's some of the things you can, you'll be testing for. You'll be testing for pH, you'll be testing for phosphorus, potassium in soil, and also nitrogen. So those are just some of the tests that you'll be able to do with this, which is really nice. And I'm about to get rained on, I think. Woo. Hey guys, guess what? It's pouring outside. I don't care. After 21 days of a drought. So I'm moving inside real quick. Uh, the girls and I came inside. And uh, let me just show you what, the, what comes with this actual test kit and give you a little bit more information on it. So here's the test kit. And again, I'm going to put a link to Amazon on it. Uh, Lamont has oh, usually puts their stuff in this nice, it's kind of a plastic rigid case, vinyl case, zips up. It's a nice presentation on the case. You have all your regions in here. Uh, as an example, this is pH. Now let me give you an example. One of those one of those junk test kits, and this is a beef of mine, one of those junk test kits has a pH, um, or it might even be one of those meters, where what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take the soil, mix it with water, and then take a pH test. Well, what's the pH of water? That's like 70% of what you're testing. It just doesn't make sense. So that's where this stuff makes a lot more sense. <clears throat> so here's, as an example, if you were to test pH, here's a pH uh, indicator solution. So you would take, uh, I think it's like three or four scoops of soil. You put it into the tube, one of these tubes. You fill it up to the number that it says fill it up to. As an example, fill it up to the number that it says fill it up to. You shake it. Let me give you an example. The instructions are actually pretty good. 
So you put the solution in, you add your soil, and then you cap and gently mix. You let it rest for 10 minutes, settle in the soil, and then you compare it to the card. So that's pretty much, it's pretty straightforward. Now, like I said, I talked to the chemist there and she said uh, you can add, if you're having trouble with your solution settling, which is what I was having, she said you can add more pH solution that won't impact the test and let it settle. I let it settle, it took, like I said, almost two days for that stuff to actually settle out. And the funny thing is what I did is I let that sit. I've let this sit for 13 days now and the same, the color has not changed. It stay, has stayed that same testing color for 13 days. So it's not like it impacts it. That's just a little tip on your pH. If you've got a lot of clays and silts. So my pH is probably about a 6.5 based on this card, which is great for Bermuda. Bermuda likes it a little more acidic. Now, I will tell you that when you get into something like the phosphorus test, it's not, ex it's not a one-step process, but as an example, you're going to put in your solution, you're going to add your soil, you're going to mix um, for one minute. Then what you're going to do, you're going to remove the cap and let it stand and settle until the liquid is clear. Then you take one of the eyedroppers, then you take one of the eyedroppers and you remove the clear liquid out of the tube and put it into another testing tube. Then what you do is add six drops of the phosphorus indicator region to the second line. Cap and mix. Add one, add one phosphorus test tablet. Shake it and then do it against the car. So phosphorus, as an example, is probably one of more phosphorus and nitrogen are the two tests I think that people really want to do along with pH. And you can see that this really is, um, it really is more like a true chemistry test, a laboratory controlled test. There, you don't, you're not using water, you're actually using, you're actually using regents to actually do your testing. It's not overly complicated, but you can get good results. So look, here's what I've found. Um, here's my two cents worth. I ordered three soil test kits online. They each cost about 25 bucks online. I'm going to send them off to a laboratory. And that's one time. I got to go out and test three different areas of my yard. With this test kit for 59 bucks, I think it is. I think it's about 50, about 60 bucks. For about 60 bucks, I've got enough material here to do, I would say, at least 20 different tests, if not more. So I really, really like this. Again, the independent lab that tested all these soil test kits found that this Lamont soil test kit was the most accurate 94% of the time on the majority of materials. So anyways, guys, that hopefully is a way for me to present my soil test kit review that will just cut through the chase and say, I bought these products, this is the winner, this is the one I recommend that you buy, here's a place that you can buy it. Again, I paid for it, they didn't send it to me, my personal recommendation. Doc, how you do it? Make sure you click the subscribe button here, or is it here? I think it's over here. That little red button, click subscribe. And uh, when you go to our YouTube channel, you'll see a little bell next to the subscribe thing there. Click that little bell and what'll happen is, is you'll get a notification when we put up a new video. It'll actually send you a notification. If you've got the app on your phone, it'll send it to your phone. But I've got, um, I've got probably, I think we did a count on it. The video count is up to 42 videos that we're going to be doing over the next few over the next few months. Everything to do around the home, yard care, gardens, lawns, everything. Um, but as an example, uh, just this little just this little side garden we put in. We're going to be doing some monitoring on this and doing some testing with some different products. We got tomatoes, we got cucumbers, we got peppers, we got all kinds of little stuff. But that's just an example of one thing we'll be doing out here. Yeah.